All right, y'all, I've been getting a lot of questions in the comment section and also inbox on how to set up alerts in TradingView. So instead of answering all those questions, I'm just going to make a video. This is how you do it. Let's say you want to set up an alert on Market Cipher B whenever there's a green dot. What you would do is you would open up TradingView, you would click on Market Cipher B, and it's going to highlight the indicator. You can see right here that the indicator is highlighted. Now what you're going to do is you're going to right click right here on the indicator and it'll pull up this menu. Now you're going to go ahead and click Add Alert on Market Cipher B. Now this will bring up a few different options. Condition, Options, Expiration Time, Alert Actions, Alert Name, and Message. Condition, this is what indicator you want the alert to be on. You could have it on the price action and then I have the volume indicator opened and I have Market Cipher Market Cipher B open. If I had Market Cipher A loaded on this chart, this would be an option too. Market Cipher A would also be an option, but I do not have it loaded on this chart, so I'm going to make sure Market Cipher B is selected. Now let's say I want to get an alert every time there's a green dot printed on the chart here. I'm going to pull down this drop-down menu and click blue wave crossing up in parentheses. It says small green dot. Now when it comes to options, there are a few different options, and here's what I recommend. I recommend you click once per bar close. What this means is that every time a candlestick closes, every 24 minutes, you will not get an alert unless a candlestick has closed and there is a red dot. The reason this is important is for two reasons. If you click only once and it prints a green dot on Market Cipher B, that green dot is not final until that bar closes. The green dot could come and it could go, and it could come and it could go. And the problem with that is you might get a false confirmation. You might think, oh, I have a green dot on the 24 minute, but in reality, that green dot will go away in a few minutes. So I would click once per bar close because this will allow it to confirm with a closed candle before you get that alert. Other options are once per bar, once per minute. Once per minute is very annoying. Once per bar is okay, um, but the problem with that is uh, the notification will then be canceled out after it happens once. If you click once per bar close, this will be a constant thing, meaning every single time there's a green dot in the 24 minute, you will get a notification. So if you're constantly you know, paying attention to the charts, I would click once per bar close. Expiration time, you can set how long you want this notification to be active for, so I would ha have it on for a month. That way you have a month of notifications. And then alert actions, notify on apps. This is important because you'll get a notification on your cell phone, on your smartphone. Wh whatever you're doing, you'll get a notification that lets you know, okay, we have a green dot confirmed on the 24 minute show pop-up. This is great if you are using uh, your computer during the day and it'll just pop up on your screen whenever it happens. Send email, this will send an email to you, which is also great if you get email notifications. You can give the alert a specific name and then you can give it a message and this message will pop up on your phone or on your computer screen so you would call it BTC 24 minute green dot and then you would create that indicator just click continue anyway that's how you would create uh, an, an alert for a green dot. Let's say you want to create an alert every time the VWAP crosses over the zero line. Again, you would just highlight Market Cipher B. You would right click, then click Add Alert on Market Cipher B. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to do the, um, for the condition Market Cipher B. We're going to do crossing up, and we're going to click Market Cipher B, and then we're going to click VWAP. So now we have different conditions right here. As, as you can see, it's more than just market cipher B green dot. We have two conditions that need to be met. So I want market cipher B and I want the VWAP line to be crossing up market cipher B on the zero line. So does this make sense? Every time the VWAP line crosses up over the zero line, I want to get a notification. So the condition is Market Cipher B VWAP is crossing up over the Market Cipher B zero line. And you can do this in the other way too, crossing down over the zero line. Or you could do anything you want, really. You could have um, you could have uh, trigger waves, RSI, anything be on a notification here. And then of course you would just give it a name 
uh, once per bar close and then click create down here you can do this with market cipher a you can do this with price action you could just create a horizontal line and say okay there's there's a resistance line right here whenever here let me make this thicker so you can see it um, there's a resistance line here I want to be notified if the price breaks through this resistance I just right click this resistance line add an alert on it Ethereum USD is crossing up over the horizontal line once per bar close and then click create and boom that is how you create notifications in TradingView I hope this has helped some people and if it has make sure to give this video a like subscribe to the channel oh, look at that it's time for me to end the video